Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and this is Quarter Horse Whiskey. Yeah, so I'm a little nervous whiskey. about this, but I'm grateful that David Wallace, a magnificent bastard, wait a minute, sent stop. it to Full us. stop. Full freaking stop. Not that David Wallace. Not the one from The Office? No. Okay. Or the famous author. Neither no, of the. Wait, that's really, that tracks really accurately. Yeah. You go famous author, I go the character the from character The from Office. The character from The Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And not like William Wallace's lesser known younger brother, <laughs> right. David. Uh, <laughs> Kenneth, Kenneth, Kenneth Wallace. Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> For freedom! Well, you know. <laughs> All right, this is from Magnificent Bastard, David Wallace. David Wallace, you magnificent <laughs> bastard. Hi. I just caught like the craft services table. It's like it's on a projection. It's got, That's all I'm picturing. It's like, where's, where's, where's David? Where's Kenneth? Is he on the craft services where's table again? <laughs> all right. So he did say, hey, I'm a native Texan. Right. Moved to Kentucky for work. Okay. I've been diving into the world of bourbon. Yes. Find your YouTube channel. Thank you. Uh, saw this liquor store. Wasn't sure what it was. I have been able to find out it's from Kentucky, mm -hmm. and it's high rye, which is true, yeah. and um, minimum of one year old. Now, here's why I'm nervous, David. I'm going to go on record as saying I'm nervous, but we're going to open it and try it no, anyway. Before you, before you get in there, oh, hang on. did you see the marbling that the wax did on top I there? do. It's kind of nice. That's huh? cool. Yeah, there's like a swirly thing on top that Daniel will not show you. I'm trying to... Here, look. Swirly thing on top. Can you see that? Can you see the swirl? Everybody, a moment of appreciation for the swirl. Your head's a swirl. That's not relevant. This is not coming off like wax. It's coming off like, uh, it's like sh heat shrunk rubber. Huh, interesting. I don't think that, yeah, I think there's something other than wax. Yeah. It did not look like wax. Wax, Ooh. that was why I was, why I was talking about it, because wax doesn't usually do that with swirling of the color. It's Inside it's damp. So, okay. That's interesting. Oh. oh okay, oh. so. Well, you are naturally moist. Okay, so. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a resounding review from Rex. Oh, okay. No, I said, it was, it was like an act of pleasantly surprised ooh. No. <laughs> that was a pleasantly surprised ooh. Sure, let's. let's pleasantly surprised let's ooh. Call it that. No, I was not. Okay. I was like, you can't find. I feel your, like you don't like my cooking. When you can't find information <laughs> on something, I'm thinking, oh, are they doing some like sketch stuff? Are they trying to like. They are, know, so cut, this cut is. corners or something. But the nose, I get in there, it's a nice nose. Eh, this is sourced from OZ Tyler Distillery. Okay. And we reviewed their stuff before. If you'll remember, it was the uh, distillery that's using the Terra Pure technology. Okay. Where they claim to be able to use sonic waves okay. to create super old whiskey in 12 hours. Okay. No, this is not 12 hours. Yeah, ultrasonic energy, they call it. And so uh, they put oak staves in a machine so and then send. So ultrasonic is, waves. I'm 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 I don't know much about the technology, <gasps> but, realized, but is it this? I don't have the medallion again. <laughs> you got me all kerfuffled with the camera. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to blend something that has absolutely right. nothing to do with Dan. Right. It's all it's all the cameras the fault of that have nothing that... to do with me, and I didn't set up. Picture Mike. Oh man. All right. Um, so the sonic whatever technology thing is that basically? I don't know how much you know. I you know, haven't looked into it. Is this? Sorry, it's a my different man when happened. Is this oh, yeah. basically um, they're using sound waves to agitate the yes. fibers of the wood and the whiskey to make them interact with each other more? In theory, but I don't know. I didn't really research the Terrapure, and I read their website, but it's not that informative. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So what I'm getting, knows? what I'm getting on the nose, it's not a big sweetness. There's like kind of a like a grainy dryness. Yeah, but I also get like and there's an ethanol ding in there. And I get this like funky. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm attributing that to like a dry grain instead of a sweet grain, which is what you were more commonly going to find in a whiskey. It's like yeah, a and I'm going to assume that's because it's higher rye percentage, which I think it is. I think it's. What's the proof? Because this is coming in a little hot on the nose. I keep having to back it off. 46. Okay. It is sharp. Aged a minimum of one year in New Oak, they say. But then they use their technology and they say they can recreate four years in 12 hours. Okay. See, that's interesting because a year, a year in New Oak, right? Like, w depending on where you're doing stuff, where you're doing the aging, mm -hmm. a year in New Oak is more than enough time 
to get a tremendous amount of color and flavor. Evidently not in Kentucky. Well, it, uh, depending on where you're aging it. A tremendous right. amount of color and flavor without any kind of rapid aging. Right, no need. Yeah, huh. So I would be, I would be curious to see side by side something that did the rapid aging whatever. Um, something that didn't. And then something that didn't. And what was, yeah. Same product, same distillery, same distilled spirit. Yep. Wow, there's like a, Huh. Right? It's like, a, it's like a tart apple. That's confusing. It's like a tart apple. It is. It's an apple tart, and then it immediately goes ethanol finish. Mm hmm And then it's gone. Yeah. The lingering... Well, hold on. There's... Slightly there's, bitter. There's something that swells up in the, in the finish. And... What is that? It's like a, like a, like a raspberry jam? I don't know. Uh, you That's, know what this reminds So, one time I tried to make an apple tart with mm -hmm. a friend. Back when we were like, let's bake. Oh, and then the nose. There's a bunch of dudes in a house, and it's like, let's bake something. So we right. got a recipe for an apple tart. Mm -hmm. And we didn't understand that when you zest right. something, from like, you had like a little lime to the apple tart. Right. When you zest it, you're not supposed to get into like the white part. Okay. Because the white part that's, of the lime is that's intense, yeah. freakishly bitter. Yeah. So we like zested an entire lime all the way down to like the juicy part of the lime. We just <laughs> zested away. And then we put it in there, and we baked it, yeah. and one bite, our mouths turned to inside out. Like, <laughs> it's just, we're like, let's try our new apple tart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, so, it was wait, terrible. That was your, like, roommate project. Yeah. Well, my, my roommate project was, hey, you guys remember the show MASH? Yeah. Hawkeye had that still? Ah. <laughs> let's get some big plastic buckets and make a, a mash still oh, in the kitchen. With plastic? Yeah, from like Home Depot. To, yeah, then you, no, like, that's then for beer. Some, yeah. No, 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 like just to, to hold like... <laughs> oh, God, that's a... It was Bain-Marie style, huh? We did. And it you was, heated up the water to heat up the... Yeah, Yeah, that was the moment where we realized, we like made some stuff. We realized, not much really know what we're doing. <laughs> Let's have Matt try this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's light it on fire. Yeah. All right, anyway, there's this like weird astringent sour note that sort of like... Yeah. It, so the, it's an apple tart, but on it's the very tart. On the nose, what it's presenting is like a dry graininess. Um, in, the, in the taste, yeah, it doesn't... You know what? Yeah. There's not a, like an intrinsic like sweetness. Usually, there's like a core sweet element to most whiskeys. Yeah. And this is kind of not pulling the sweet elements. It's just finding some, some dry stuff. They're definitely whiskey flavors, though. These aren't whiskey, these aren't flavors that have never shown up at a whiskey. Yes, this is not a vodka or right. age. This is not gins. This is definitely it's like a, in the family of whiskey. Yeah, kind of tarty a little <sighs> bit. Uh, we got Milkman. All right. Noticed you guys have almost 100 likes to zero dislikes, so I thought I'd dislike this so you guys' heads don't swell. Thank you, Milkman. <laughs> Contentious Hackery. We've talked, we've read his before. It, I remember that name. Was he contentious? I don't know him personally. I think it might be nice if some magnificent bastard with some cabinet making skills who lives near the vault would make a wee platform to replace the two books Daniel uses. It should have a drawer to hold that knife that a magnificent bastard hand made for Daniel to open bottles with a shelf in front to hold the bottles while the glasses sit on top. Seems like a lot of work. That's, that's a project contentious hackery. Yeah. That you just volunteered for. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my favorite ideas. Ideas where other people, where other need people. To do things. So here, let's give you a heads up just because you're going to need to know this. Yeah. Um, our platform needs to be about this high on a Michter's bottle. <laughs> so up to the where it starts Just the at the shoulder. Right. And then it needs to be about the width of a Michter's bottle. Oh, it almost is the exact width. Yeah. The, yeah. And then it needs to be about the depth of a Michter's bottle up to... To the first little ridge in the to glass. To where the cork is visible. Up to the ridge in the glass. Mm-hmm. So just in case... You got this. <laughs> I believe in you. Where did I get that from? Too? And you know, it's like, well, I don't know the, the, the you know, woodworking skills. YouTube's a great place to learn. That's right. You can watch, uh, like, Nick Offerman has woodworking videos. Yes. You can have fun and learn woodworking yes. at the same time. I'm so looking forward to this. <laughs> We're going to set our first bottle on it. It's just going to collapse. So looking forward <laughs> Glasses to this rolling miniature, across the miniature room. whiskey cabinet. Yeah. All right. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> Wait. If you fight me, fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your lover's heart. And if, and you, if drink, you drink, 
Man, you drink, drink with us. us. Oh, you went wide. Well, you, you got to get in both. How, like, how's he gonna? You no, no, I do that. May you drink? You didn't and dive then in. Together we do the may you drink with us. You got it wrong. You said my line. 